The biggest thing for us is uh, how the players have adapted and how they've dealt with the situation. I think they've been second to none, they've been different class. They continued working to the fundamentals that were put in place. We've continued that on, there's been no change, no upheaval, there's been no issues with anything like that. And I think the players have bought into that, continued along that vein. And obviously the game against Northampton has proved that um, there's no negativity. It's all positive. The players have been fantastic and they've dealt with it really, really well. Because today has, it's been a long day, the, the travelling, and they, they do seem in high spirits, don't they? They are in high spirits. Sometimes uh, the first five minutes is the most difficult ones to get them going. We've been up early in the morning, a lot of travelling. The delay has obviously not helped, and then we've got here, and just to get them out in the fresh air, they've been great. So um, all bodes well for the next few days. Good couple of games, good couple of days training. Um, I think it's now more about the, the game side of things. A lot of the players have got a balanced amount of minutes in. Now we're starting to focus and analyse a little bit and trying to nail down a potential starting 11 for the Reading game. But, but and it's a big but, they've made it very, very difficult for me as it stands at the moment to try and pick a, a starting 11 from the from the performances that they've put in. It's, it's now an impossible trick. I could sit down with uh, a thousand of our fans trying to pick out the, the starting 11 for the first game and we'd all, we'd, all, we'd all have something different from what we've seen in those these first two or three pre-season matches. Cliché, but a positive. Massive positive, yeah, it's been great. As I say, negativity could have swept in, but the players have handled it really, really, really well. And, and again, a heart back to the performance last night was, was the question mark, I think, to see exactly how they were doing and where their heads were at, and they answered that tremendously well and put on a, a really professional show um, against a League Two side who have probably got half decent ambitions but have to speaking to their manager so um, I can't ask anything more I can't ask anything more and uh, as you say they seem to be bonding really well the Portugal trip was a really good one it's a really good environment here fantastic weather now for a good couple of games it was quite an emphatic performance at uh, Northampton would you say yeah I don't I don't want to be OTT but I felt with the, the chances created it could have been more and I don't want to be disrespectful to Northampton. I mean, we created great chances. Um, I think we kept the ball really well. The big aspect for me is when we lost the ball and the, the reaction to getting it back, the immediate reaction of pressing high, winning the ball back in the opposition's half, and thereafter we're, we're in a great position to go on the attack again. Um, I think we played with a, a lot of good width, a lot of composure on the ball. We controlled the game really, really well. And obviously, when you get three of your strikers scoring three out of the four goals, then that always helps. And it's nice to get Adam Reach uh, starting on the same way as he finished off last year and uh, a good run of form and getting goals as well. So if they've not been scoring them, they've been creating them. Um, it's great. No, the, the, the feel-good factor is really good amongst the group at the moment. They've bought into what we've been trying to do. Um, and I think we've seen the benefits from it from... One, the training sessions, and two, the performances in the friendly games. Yes, they're friendly games, so they don't really mean anything to a lot of people. But for us, we're just trying to see the the basics come out, the attitude correct, the what we do in the training grounds being taken on to the games. And, and from that point of view, they've been very, very important for us. But all I can say from my point of view is that what we've asked them to do, they've been absolutely outstanding. And, and the help I've had over the last couple of days for Nicky Weaver and uh, Strudders, and, uh, and Neil Thompson has been fantastic. All the lads in the background, uh, they've been great. Everybody, Andy Callanan's, all the lads have been fantastic.